Hey everybody, I'm just setting up to record a review of a bunch of IEMs here, but before I get into that, I just wanted to quickly reproduce this short video talking about something that came up on my recent review of the Eversolid DMPA8. A reviewer from another channel that I'm not going to mention because I don't think it matters, he kind of called out the fact that people were being given the Eversolid DMPA8 as part of the review process. Now I thought this was a really good opportunity to actually share a bit of transparency and insight into what goes on in the world of reviewers. And I should stress at the very beginning that none of this is to judge how any individual reviewer handles their business. And I deliberately use the word business because many of us need to make some money to at least cover our costs and in some cases to supplement our main jobs or for this to become our full-time job. And where all that leads us is to tell you that yes, Eversolo did send me the DMPA8. Just like many different retailers and manufacturers send me other gear to review and I don't have to give it back. That's not always the case, it's probably about 60 to 70% of the time. Now some of you might immediately think that being given product makes bias, makes us want to like the product more because we're being given something for free, and I'm sure for some reviewers that's true. I know in my case though, one of the stipulations that I always make to anyone sending me product is that I still get to choose what I want to say about it. And indeed, if you go back through my review history, you'll see plenty of videos where I've been given a product by even a channel sponsor, and I've still said that you shouldn't go and buy it. So what all this means is that most reviewers that you are watching here on YouTube are being given products for free. And that's a big part of the business of being a reviewer. What it means is that we get some income from YouTube, although in most cases, it's actually only a very small amount. Unless you're a massive, massive channel, something like Darko Audio, maybe headphones.com, I'm not sure. But unless you're raking in literally thousands and thousands of views every single day, you're probably not making enough money to make this a full-time gig. And so what many of us do, me included, is we have things like our Patreon pages and community memberships. And then of course on top of that, what also happens is that after we review gear, we often do on sell it. Now sometimes I give it away to patrons, sometimes I give it to them at a really reduced cost, sometimes I list it on eBay, HeadFi, StereoNet, etc. It all depends on the product and whether or not I actually still need it. As you can see on the wall behind me, and as you'll have seen in my videos, a lot of the products I get given, I specifically want to keep so that they're ongoing comparison points. There are other products that I can compare something new to, so you've got a bit of a reference. If you've owned product XYZ that I've happened to keep after being given it, then when it comes to reviewing product ABC, I can compare it to XYZ that you already know and give you a much better picture. But after that, I do often unsell them, and that's all a part of helping me to be able to afford to go out and buy other products to do reviews with. And again, I'm not suggesting that other reviewers should do what I do, or that they already do what I do. The point is that that's a choice that I make to help fund the channel and to keep me being able to produce more reviews. And I thought it was handy for all of you to know that. You might notice that on every single one of my reviews that I produce these days, I tick the box that says the video contains paid promotion. That's for two reasons. One of them is that often the product has been given to me for free and therefore it needs to be considered as a paid promotion just for transparency. But then it's also because Lynn Solar are a channel sponsor as mentioned in the description down below. So regardless of whether I've been given a product or not, every video from me technically is paid promotion because of the comment, the line in the description down below referring to Linsol. But coming back around now to the question of bias, because I think that's what most people are worried about and indeed in the thread that's since been deleted by the original poster, that thread that we actually had going there was really helpful because it allowed an opportunity to discuss bias. Now for some people, they are going to be biased. They're going to want to keep being given products by the retailer or the manufacturer, and so they're going to feel like they want to say good things about it. That's never been my approach. I don't like doing it that way. What's really important to me is that I can tell you if a product's good, I can tell you if it's bad, and most often there's something in between where I tell you what's good about it and what's not so good about it. And the whole point of that for me is that I want to build up trust and credibility with you, the viewers. What that means for me is that I can sleep better at night and also hopefully I can see in the comments that I've helped people. But then on top of that, I also want the retailers and the manufacturers to stand behind the products that they're offering. If they want to give me a 2000 product that's a load of rubbish, I'm not interested in that over and over and over again. I want them to be held to the same standards that you do because I'm a consumer, I'm an audiophile, I'm a music lover, just like you are. So when I get a product in the like the Eversolar DMPA8, I'm stoked and excited to try it, just like you would be. And so if it doesn't live up to its standards, I'm not excited and happy, I'm disappointed, and I'm going to share that with you. It's essentially a marketing expense, a marketing strategy for many of these companies, is that they put aside X number of units to send out to different people to try in the hope that they'll give good reviews. 
Now, one thing I should specify here is I never have and never will accept payment for a review. They can, of course, send me the product for free. There is some value in that, of course. But as I mentioned before, if the product disappoints me, you're going to hear about it in the video. Whereas if cash starts exchanging hands in terms of here's product X and we'll pay you this much for the review, that's where I say, no, just send me the product. I don't want the money. Now, I can't tell you if other people are doing the same thing or not. I know it's something that I hold very strong to because I want every single video to be unbiased and as clear as possible from any kind of influence that it can have. And so I'll leave that there. If I've raised any questions here that I haven't answered for you, put them in the comments down below. I'll be glad to answer them, glad to talk about it. I'll do a follow-up video if there's anything major that I've missed. But for now, hopefully that's given you some transparency and some insight into what it means to be an audio reviewer on YouTube and to have products sent out sometimes for loan and sometimes for free. So I hope you found this video useful and helpful. As always, if you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. But for now, happy listening and I'll see you here next time on Passion for Sound.